All right, right now we're going to work on getting chord slashes as well as rhythmic figures into our lead sheet. And for this we're going to look at the Brian McKnight song, Back at One. Now, here I've circled a bunch of rhythmic figures that we want to get into our music because um, you can hear from the recording and also you can see from the sheet music that the bass is often anticipating beat three. So if we just write slashes, the bass player is just going to play dum da dum dum da da dum something like that. And what we want is we want to make sure that they hit the dum um ba ding dee da um two and three four. The and of two is real important to grab here. Um, the bass drum is also going to be doing the same thing. So we need to show this in the chart, not just have slashes. So now let's go over to finale, and we'll enter a bunch of notes in so we can make slashes. This is what I usually do, just put a bunch of notes in, and then we will have the chords, of course. Uh, I think the chord here is a B. Um, and now, if we go to the staff tool, and we select these, and I hit control click, then we can apply a staff style. And if we didn't have anything interesting to do here, we could just go slash notation, boom, we'd be done. However, we don't want to do that. We want to add in some rhythmic figures. So, like I said, the important thing here is that we get the and of two. So how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to have a quarter note, and then a quarter rest, which is sort of a placeholder to show us that we're going to have something on the and of two. The thing on the end of two is going to be tied over to three and four. All right, so now we have sort of the figure. Now, to make the slashes and rhythmic figures, we're going to take beat one, control click, apply, slash notation. Beat two, we're going to grab it, control click, rhythmic notation. Beats three and four. We'll grab it, control click, and do rhythmic notation. So now we have this nice bar, oops, not rhythmic notation, sorry I messed that up, I want that to be slash. That's important. Slash notation, not rhythmic notation. Okay, so now we have this good looking bar that shows that there's going to be a kick on the and of two that's tied over to the end of three. So what this basically means is play anything you want on beat one, make sure you play something on the and of two, then play whatever you want on beats three and four. And then I can grab this bar, and since this is a recurring thing, I can command C, and then command V, command V, and then go in and change the chords.